Whilst we think of stars, we probably imagine tiny, shiny items in the night sky. At the least, this is how we see them from down here on the planet. But stars are something else entirely. Small, in fact. One of the biggest stars, Betelgeuse, happens to be much larger than our sun. For years, this star has baffled scientists, but recently, something more unsettling has been happening with Betelgeuse, making scientists and other well-informed folks very, very concerned. Join us in this video as we explore the terrific news about Betelgeuse, its impending destruction as expected by the James Net Telescope, and how this new development will affect our galaxy and our lives right here on the planet. As explained by physicist Michio Kaku, Betelgeuse is a cosmic wonder a large star that has intrigued cosmologists for so long. A Greek astronomer named Tony was the first to discover it. This star is so huge that it can be seen in the night sky from Earth, particularly during winter. If you're into constellations, you've probably seen or heard of this star. It is the reddish-orange star that marks the upper left shoulder of the Orion constellation. So, you see, this star is ancient and, so far, one of the brightest stars in the night sky. But one thing about Betelgeuse's brightness is that it doesn't stay constant. Instead, it fluctuates. This fluctuation is one of the unique properties of this star. But it isn't the only one. Let's look at some of Betelgeuse's specific properties. Most of the stars you see in the night sky are actually far from Earth. The nearest star is 4.2 light years away from Earth. If you don't understand how the term light years explains distance, picture it this way consider moving at the speed of light for a whole year. It's been proven that light can cover a distance of 186,000 miles per second. Therefore, the distance light can cover in a year is equal to one light year. If you do the math, you'll have billions of miles. So when we say the closest star is 4.2 light years away, it means it is billions of miles away from Earth. But guess what? Some stars are even farther, and Betelgeuse is one of them. Betelgeuse is located approximately 600 light years away from Earth. So, if you were to travel to it at the speed of light, it would still take 600 years. We can't move that fast. Not even our fastest spacecraft can. But this star can still shine so bright in our sky. If you're wondering how Betelgeuse can be so bright despite its distance, that's because of its other qualities like size and brightness. Betelgeuse is about 500 times larger than our sun. Its radius is believed to be about 1,000 times that of the sun. It's so big that it appears as a disk in space when using sophisticated telescopes. While other stars appear as little points of light, the disk appearance is suspected to be an effect of the reactions at the outer layers of its atmosphere. In terms of mass, Betelgeuse measures about 12 to 19 solar masses. A solar mass is the standard unit of mass used by astronomers. One solar mass is equal to 2 times 10 to the power of 30 kilograms. Scientists cannot determine the exact mass of Betelgeuse because there are no other planetary bodies orbiting around it to compare it with, and of course we can't measure it directly from here on the planet. But it's proven that this star is at least 12 times heavier than our sun. The brightness of Betelgeuse ranges from magnitude plus 0 to plus 1.6. In more familiar terms, Betelgeuse is 16,000 times brighter than our sun. No wonder it was nicknamed a red giant. However, the brightness of Betelgeuse doesn't stay constant. It fluctuates. This fluctuation is due to its pulsations. In other words, Betelgeuse expands and contracts. When it expands, it gets brighter, but when it contracts, it dims. This process can last for 10 to 100 days or even more. One unique property of Betelgeuse is that its surface is covered in dark magnetic spots. The magnetic field in these regions is far stronger than at the normal surface. But the downside is that these strong magnetic spots inhibit the flow of hot gas to the star's outer surface, making the star cooler in these regions. The fact that Betelgeuse has lots of these spots compared to our sun explains why it is cooler than our sun despite its size and brightness. The sun also has its own dark magnetic spots, but those on Betelgeuse are much larger and very numerous. To give you an idea, the spots on Betelgeuse can be twice as large as the Earth. Betelgeuse also boasts a magnetic field that is a thousand times stronger than that of the Sun. This field is why, when viewed through a telescope, the gases on the surface of Betelgeuse appear to be in loops or arcs. Betelgeuse has a surface temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin. 
This low temperature contributes to the low energy emitted by the star and its dim red color. Betelgeuse is a red star, but it wasn't always red. It was yellowish about two million years ago. Just like our sun, over the years the color started changing to orange, red, and then about 2,000 years ago, it slowly started becoming the red star we know today. This fact has made scientists believe that the star is aging. Betelgeuse emits as much as 7,500 times more energy than the sun. It would have been a fair rival to Earth's sun if it weren't so far away and in its prime. The fact that Betelgeuse, which is 600 light years away, can still be seen and identified with the naked eye at night is quite remarkable. Our sun is only 8.3 light minutes away from Earth. That's why it's so powerful. If Betelgeuse were just slightly closer, we would also be able to see it during the daytime. But if it were to replace the sun, it would swallow up or displace the Earth and the other four planets near it because of its enormous size. Furthermore, even if it could match, it emits more radiation than our sun. That alone could make it a bad sun for Earth. So maybe it was never designed to be our Earth's sun. Just a distant, large red star that we could admire and study from afar. The red light from Betelgeuse is even more pronounced because of the star's distance from Earth. One aspect about the universe is that it is constantly expanding. This expansion alters the light rays from objects and galaxies so that only longer light wavelengths travel farther. Red light has a longer wavelength than blue light, so at far distances, blue light will not be visible, only red light. But as charming as Betelgeuse has been all these years, one thing remains clear. It is an old star, nearly nearing the end of its lifespan. Stars become red toward the end of their lives when the hydrogen in their cores transforms into helium through nuclear fusion. At this point, the star slowly transforms into what space experts call a red giant. And from what we know about stars, heavy stars age faster than light stars. Since Betelgeuse is about 12 times heavier than the sun, it is dying at an accelerated rate. Also, this star's irregular pulsations and brightness are another strong sign that it is dying. Betelgeuse began dimming in 2019, but the lowest brightness ever recorded of Betelgeuse was in February 2021. This was when concerns about the near-death state of the star began to grow in the science community. But wait a minute, how do stars die? Well, they explode something scientists call a supernova. So what is a supernova? If you've ever seen a nuclear explosion, just know it's nothing compared to a supernova. A supernova is a massive and powerful explosion that happens when stars reach the end of their lifespan. An immense amount of energy is usually released into space whenever a supernova occurs, making supernovas some of the universe's brightest and most stunning events. However, there are types of supernovas, type 1 and type 2. A type 1 supernova happens when a remnant of a low-mass star collects matter from a partner star until it reaches a critical mass that it can no longer bear. As a result, it triggers a nuclear reaction, and the star explodes. A type 2 supernova happens when high-mass stars like Betelgeuse run out of fuel and can no longer support their own structure. As a result, the star explodes, releasing an enormous amount of energy. A typical type 2 supernova will release light, heat, and radiation. They can be so powerful that they can wipe out everything in their path. Sometimes, a type 2 supernova can emit light so bright that it overshadows all the other stars in the galaxy it is located in. Type 2 supernova explosions also create heavy elements like iron, nickel, and gold. These metals are formed during the high pressure and high temperature reaction, then scattered into space as the star explodes. As they enter space, they get added to the new stars that will emerge from the supernova. Supernovas generally result in the formation of new stars or planets. Thanks for your patience. Here's the continuation. To Earth, it speeds faster than light. Or possibly, the shockwave may reach us sooner than expected due to unexpected factors. In any case, while scientists and cosmologists may have differing opinions on the potential risk posed by Betelgeuse, one thing remains. Certain. The universe is full of surprises, and our knowledge of it is constantly evolving. So, is the possibility of Betelgeuse going supernova good news or bad news? It's hard to say definitively. On one hand, a supernova event could be a dazzling astronomical phenomenon, potentially visible even during daylight hours. On the other hand, 
the consequences for life on Earth could be catastrophic. Ultimately, it serves as a reminder of the vast power and unpredictability of the cosmos and the importance of continued scientific exploration and understanding. Whether Betelgeuse's fate will directly impact us or not, its story is a fascinating glimpse into the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. From its explosion, Betelgeuse may trigger the spontaneous eruption of another star. Capella is only 43 light years away. If a star like that gets triggered, Earth will surely suffer from its aftermath. So, let's assume we are safe from the blast and it doesn't reach us. What other effects could we experience from Beech's explosion? Well, it would mainly be light effects. A supernova primarily releases light and energy, so if Betelgeuse exploded, you would see its bright light in the sky wherever you were in the world.